This is my unboxing of the RCA Voyager 7 inch 16 gigabyte tablet with Android 6.0 Marshmallow. I got two of them, one with a keyboard and one without a keyboard. They are $34 and $44 respectively at Walmart on sale over the Black Friday online special week. Voyager and Voyager Pro. Hmm. Okay. All they had in there was were these bags, and they were all popped. So, pretty much uh, no insulation. But these boxes probably do a good job. One's the RCT. 6873W42KC and one is the RCT 6873W42. Both are charcoal color. This one comes with a keyboard, this one does not, but they're essentially the same thing otherwise. I'm going to open the keyboard one first. webcam. I heard that it's only one megapixel so it's not very impressive. No backwards facing camera. Headphone jack, micro USB port, DC jack. Um, this looks like it might be a newer version of the um, another uh, I forgot the name of the company was. Uh, we have a tablet downstairs that is just like this we got a couple years ago also on a sale and it actually wasn't that good um, but you can only charge it with the DC input, not with the H, not with uh, USB. But this one says you can charge with USB. I guess we'll find out. Um, and also, it was only one, one CPU. Um, and this one's a quad core, and it also has a lot more memory. So maybe a vast improvement, but I'm expecting it to be the same body as the old one, which is kind of a cheap feeling, solid brick body. Nothing very fancy in it, but you know, it's only. $34 for just the screen and $44 with the screen plus keyboard. Oh, nice. Ooh. That actually feels a lot more solid than I thought it would be. A lot, a lot of times these things come with a cheap leather, cheap feeling keyboards. It actually feels pretty good. For $10 more, that's uh, not a bad keyboard. And I imagine this thing pops out. So this is, a, in essence, the tablet. Before I do anything, I'm going to charge it up. Oh, and it has a, the connector down here. That's how it connects. So it doesn't connect to a USB. It connects via a proprietary port. I actually wonder if uh, this one has that too. It's a 1024 by 600 HD resolution. Android 6. One of the nice thing about Android 6 is you can install things on the card itself. It means you can't put the card in a computer anymore. I, I tested that with my wife's Android 6 phone. Um, I just need a cheap Android 6 phone to do certain apps that only run on Android 5 or better. Like I'm controlling my uh, LG 360 camera. So I didn't need anything fancy. So this is the same thing. Does it have a port on the bottom? It does not. Interesting. So these actually are slightly different tablets. This one has a thing on the bottom and this one does not. That's interesting. I, didn't, I wouldn't have expected that. But or not, they're essentially the same. Cool. I'm going to play these in, see if these start charging up. And I don't know if there's a battery for the keyboard too, or if it pulls its power from the tablet. I'm guessing it pulls the power from the tablet. 
Um, it also comes with uh, the proprietary AC um, charger, which is unfortunate because that means if you lose this, you can't charge it, which is too bad. And this one as well, same thing, AC adapter. But it says it can charge with USB, so let's see if it will charge with USB. Because that's the most important one. Because if you lose that AC adapter, kind of up a creek without a paddle. Plug it in. It says it's charging. That's good news. Plug it into this one too. And, oh, different. RCA powered and by Android. By the way, someone else pointed out that RCA doesn't exist anymore. Oh, it's fully charged. But it's a different screen. These actually seem to be slightly different units. Interesting. More than just a plug on the bottom. Well, actually, since this is fully charged, pretty much, I'm going to push the on button and see what happens. Too much reflection. Taking a while to boot up. Android is starting. Starting apps. While it's doing that, this thing isn't showing that it's charging anymore. Welcome. Oh, this one says 90%. The graphic is substantially different. It's a nicer graphic. Welcome, English United States. Oops. Let's connect with my wireless. For those who can guess what my password for my wireless is. Password to connect with password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is everyone got that? <laughs> I only put a password so that the traffic is encrypted so that people can't snoop another everyone else's traffic. It's connecting. It's going to take up to two minutes. So the typical Android startup. If you use another Android device, you can quickly copy your current setup to this RCT6873W42. No thanks. Sign into your Google account. Logged in with my Google account. No, I'm not sharing the, sharing the password for that. <laughs> These services put Google to work for you, and you can turn them off at any time. For your user dimensions at gmail.com account, data will be used in accordance with privacy, whatever. I made a backup. Help apps to find your location, improve location accuracy. Help improve your Android experience. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <clears throat> Just a sec.
You can also use a personal or exchange email address. You can edit now. Not now. Skip that. I make sure not to have any credit cards associated with my Google account. Okay, so my personal information will be shared with them so they can help me with my searches. I'm fine with that. Welcome. Wallpapers, widgets, and settings. Got it. Comes with a nice set of apps. Okay, first things first. Always install Android info. System info, sorry. Everything seems to be responsive, which is nice. Here it is. Highly recommend always installing this. Except while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and plug in, not to complicate things, but I'm going to plug in, uh, we had another one uh, that a friend gave us, uh, another one that had a blue case on it, and the back here um, came loose and it actually ended up breaking the card in half. So, it's unfortunate. Downloading, downloading, downloading. Well... Corrupted SD card. SD card is corrupt. Please try and pull and plug your SD card in again. Okay. And this is a. Come on. High capacity, 128 gigabyte. Hard. Wait for the focus. Come on. There, 120 gigabyte. I used it in my camera and other stuff. It worked fine. This thing says it supports up to 120 gigabytes. Encrypted SD card. Okay, it's successfully installed and uh, system info. Open. See what it says about it. I'm plugging the card back into the computer to confirm. It says it supports 120 gigabytes. And it can see it. Windows can see it. Maybe this thing doesn't support what it says it supports. Don't ask again. New version stuff, great. Memory. 10 gigabytes. Um, a time network. IP address, public IP address, okay. System. CPU. Processor zero. Four cores. Uh, 
1.2 gigahertz camera. Settings menu. Okay, you gotta turn that on by default. Settings. Enable this info and camera info. Okay. Okay, let's go back. Did it again. Now camera. No camera available or arrow while accessing camera. I actually heard about this. Uh, it has a proprietary driver to actually see the camera, which means you can't use it for other stuff. But I uh, guess, okay, I'm not going to be using this for that anyways. The screen is 1024 by 552. That was 1024 by uh, 800. Actually, on the, the cover it says 1024 by 600. But here it says 1024 by 552. That's probably because Android unplugging the SD, the USB drive, because a lot of times cheap Android devices, when you're charging it, there's a short somewhere, and so like, your screen touches get messed up or other things get messed up. So I uh, unplugged the USB charging just to make sure it's not an issue. And I plugged the car back in, it still says it's a uh, can't find it, says so it's corrupted. But it does give me the option when I click on it to use it as portable storage or as internal storage. If you use it as portable storage, then when you eject it, you can actually view it on Windows. When you use it as an internal storage, it is a proprietary Android OS. And I say proprietary because my um, partition software, um, I'm using many tool partition. Uh, Main Tool Partition Wizard, the free version, which you know has served me well so far. I used it to set up my Link to SD card. It doesn't actually recognize the the file system that was installed on it when I did the test before. So, if a partition software can't recognize it, then I mean it's probably I'm, I'm assuming it's probably Extent Two or Extent Three of Four, Ext Two or Ext Four, one of the Linux default uh, partitions. Um, some people say that they can actually see it on their Linux when they boot up in a Linux. But I'm going to be using this as internal storage, which means I need to find my own proprietary way to get at the images or anything else I use on, I put on there, which I guess at this point I'm kind of committing to it. <clears throat> it requires that it be formatted to be secure. <clears throat> and also since it secures everything in there, even you know, if you can see it, <clears throat> doesn't mean you can actually do anything with it. Erase and format. What it may just be complaining is that um, the X, Extent X format or whatever that new Microsoft format for cameras is, maybe something Android that doesn't rec and Android doesn't recognize because I did have this in my Samsung camera previously. Don't remove the SD card while formatting. Man, you just take all the fun. <laughs> This thing is pretty thick and unwieldy, but I mean, it's a $34 Android tablet that has four cores in it. It's, you know, the bottom of the barrel, so it's pretty impressive. Obviously a little too big to fit in. I mean, it's bigger than my hand. A little bit too big to fit in my, uh, any kind of pouch I carry on me, so it might be kind of cumbersome carrying it around. That probably would fit in my pocket Although I probably wouldn't recommend it, you probably break it. I'm guessing this is not Gorilla Glass. On the cut case, it says that the battery lasts for up to six hours. It's taking a sweet little time. Stuck on 20%. Oh, now it's 40%. I'm going to skip through the formatting and come back. Oh, now it's in 60%. It sensed I was going to stop the video. There, I'm going to stop the video now. See if it jumps to 80%. 3, 2, 1. Nope. I'm booting up the second tablet. This is the one that came with the keyboard. It has a special bottom. Let's see if the startup is different.
Am I the one still formatting the SD card? <laughs> Same step as the other one. Again, connect to my not-so-secret Wi-Fi. I wonder, I wonder what the password for this is. What's the password to connect to the hotspot that's called password is 1234567878? Huh. I'm okay with anyone being on the Wi-Fi. I just don't want the information to be public. I don't want people snooping. Otherwise, they can capture your usernames and passwords and, you know, steal your identity. This can take up to two minutes. I'm going to skip the rest of this. It's pretty much the same as the first RCA device. These appear to be very similar to the ProScan tablet. This is what I bought uh, two years ago. And also similar to uh, the blue one that we were given from my friend, uh, which ended up, the screen ended up not working at all. So you couldn't even click on anything, which is unfortunate. And that's also the one where uh, the SD card actually broke in half because this, this, this case came off, and, but the SD card was sticking out when it happened, and so it just clipped off the end of it. And that's when I found out if you touch the thing when it's broken in half, there's actually an electric current going through it. And it's, but that, that, um, that's not this one, those are different ones. So this is the ProScan, the old tablet. And I said, I wonder if these are actually the exact same company. Because actually they are different a little bit, but not much. Very similar. Got the speaker in the same place in the back. Got the same single frontward facing camera. It's the ProScan about two years ago, maybe three. Not quite sure. And this is RCA. One person theorized that they just basically bought the rights to use the name RCA. Same SD card on the back. Um, and even the same ports. Except that this one has an HDMI out port, which is nice. Which is actually really nice. <laughs> um, I actually, this is probably the only Android device that actually has an HDMI out port of all the cheap devices I have. So that's pretty impressive. Oh, wait a second. That's the old ProScan one. Never mind. Sorry. Yeah, the new one doesn't have an HDMI out port. It has volume buttons, though. That's too bad. Still formatting. Well, I just wanted to introduce you to those. That's it. I have a 32 gigabyte Samsung SD card, which should be a little faster. It's not empty, but I removed everything off that I need to. See how this sticks out a little bit here? That's actually the problem. If this case ever comes off, it, it I've broken an SD card in half that way, where inside the, this thing came apart and uh, the chassis that the SD card rests in uh, went down, but the hole didn't, and so it just broke it off. So I plugged it in, see if it recognizes it. to set up, use this internal storage, next, erase, and format. Now this is going through the same low, slow setup that the other one is, this is the 128 gigabyte one, it's still at 60%. It did warn me that the card was slow and recommended I probably not use it, but 
I'm using it anyways. Actually, a quick little update in the end of this video. I've used this tablet for a couple of weeks now, and it works great. There's no complaints. Everything's fast. It's not stopping. Um, the only issue is that uh, I left off before with uh, it trying to format the 128 gigabyte card. Uh, that never actually ended up working. And I also tried the a 64 gigabyte card that also didn't work. And I confirmed that both of those cards were working on other devices and on my computer. So it was this thing here. But a 32 gigabyte card does work. I set it up as internal storage, was able to move uh, software off of it, and then we're basically able to install a ton of stuff on here, which is great. So uh, um, <clears throat> basically false advertising on one aspect because uh, this thing only supports up to 32 gigabytes, not 128 gigabytes, like it says on the box. So, um, but other than that, um, everything is great, and I'm very pleased with the tablet. Uh, this is the 34 giga, sorry, 34 dollar one we got from Walmart, and the other one with the keyboard is a 44 dollar one, and we're using both, um, and we're very happy with them. Um, cheap Android tablets, but impressively good considering how cheap they are, how inexpensive they are. So if you get them on sale for that price, I would highly recommend it.